and at these times you know at the pandemic time and people are it's a very difficult time for most artists to be honest and i think it a uh, person of your stature who is always mingling with all our younger artists you should give them some advice and you know i know you have uh, created a trust in the name of arnavas and you do a lot towards uh, promoting art uh, similarly we have a kk hebar trust also we were planning to have uh, to send a student uh, on residency to um, benares but because of this pandemic it has been postponed and so we decided to give a scholarship to a final year student in jai kumar's mm -hmm. institute this year so uh, i strongly feel uh, i would like of course you to talk about arnavas trust and i feel there should be more people who are art lovers and who has who say they're saturated with art collection should come forward and form trust and this money can be used to promote artist you know in different uh, fields whatever whether painting sculpture it does not matter you know this kind of um, support will be a great uh, thing for young artist this is true and um, there are very very few foundations mm. for for uh, to give financial assistance to artists very few and uh, in 1988 Uh, uh my first wife she died of cancer and was was a very good artist and um and then i was wondering what i should do should i give money to the cancer organizations or do something so some of my friends you know non artist friends they suggested that i should create a trust uh, for art that convinced me and then i created a trust and uh, with my late friend uh, girish karnad and chanta gohan we became trustees and we started the trust and to give scholarships or financial assistance to young artists and we started with only two a year like that we increased it to two or four or five like that now today from 1989 to 2020 we have given financial assistance to more than 200 artists and some of them are very well known already and ravi kumar tashi shantamani mudaya uh, ns harsha all dgp dinesh all these people are binoy vargis they are all very very important artists in the country today and uh, so this is this is something which uh, i feel very happy about because uh, uh, i'm sure something like this could happen when we were student would have been a great thing but it didn't happen at that time and then then you know the the thing is that what scholar, what what charity is also doing is we select the band of about 8 to 10 artists every year and invite them to chola mandal artist place and run workshop about 10 days week to 10 days work and they come there they work and interact with the other artists there interact with the general public of chennai that's one thing which is happening and the other thing which is happening is the residency program which we have started now and uh, Uh, we have created a small studio in my own building we have created a uh, you know a studio space uh, thanks to my present wife amu joseph she when she designed the when we extended our house she said why don't you have a studio on upstairs and call it studio arnavas and then we invite artists to come there for about a week or 10 days or 12 days to come there and work you know, very well known artists uh, from from all over the country So these are the programs we are doing, and then the other uh, things uh, we have. I have also done something with the University of Bangalore. I wanted the Bangalore University to have an art department, and uh, so I convinced the uh, the vice chancellor. It took some time for me to do it, but then it is now uh, art department is going on very well, and it, uh, some of the students are doing excellent work there. And uh, Jay Kumar. one of the uh, very important artists of our country he leads the institution he is the director of the institution because you know the the art uh, schools private art schools they charge a lot of uh, things I men uh, tuition fees whereas yeah. the, the university charges very little this is big it's a huge country. campus and i think yeah. it's a great uh, it's an, a nice a good place for students to interact and have discussions and yeah and then you know the 
i felt a need to have um, uh, you know sort of an art appreciation and uh, things like that and so we i, I asked some of two of my artist friends like ravi kashi kumar kashi and kantamani mudaya that we can we can start something and so we started started ananya drishya ananya is already there as an organization doing something good in music and dance and so under the same umbrella we call it ananya drishya what we do is every month we invite one artist to come and make a perform make a presentation of the work and a discussion in nearly one one and a half hours the program goes on and this is an art appreciation also and you know many people come and uh, uh, take part in this it's normally done uh, in the art gallery auditorium or national gallery of modern art any other place it is convenient to us and this is been going on for the last number of years and then you know the need to bring artists and people together see the thing is that many people don't go to art galleries yes, they are yes. they are afraid to to meet the artists so few years ago i asked some of my artist friends whether we can start something like art park every first sunday of every month we invite about 25 artists and let them do whatever they want and let people come there sit there interact with them talk to them and if they want they they can buy the things from them you know at a very discounted prices and what we are doing is every month every month first sunday we invite one important personality of bangalore come there as a chief guest and uh, the chef chief guest goes around and uh, you know he he encourages them all and uh, you know that that's how it was has been working and uh, you know we all almost, almost uh, sell uh, you know selected artists works for 1000 rupees a drawing that's a that's a lot five drawings five drawings each artist does and 5000 rupees a drawing this is how we are try to encourage the public um, come closer to art and you are a great support to them because i always see you sitting there and drawing when they are painting so you are <laughs> a part of them you know you mingle with them and you are a part of them which is uh, which is a great incentive to i mean you know uh, artists feel like painting feel like coming because uh, mainly because you are there and you are giving a lot of support yeah it is it is uh, important for me to uh, to 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 work and uh, i find that uh, an atmosphere like that when a lot of younger artists and you know what we do is we have formed a committee of more than 15 people every year it changes this committee changes and then we we tell one or two persons from the committee to select the artists of their choice and invite them for the next uh, 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 event so first sunday of every month we have we meet at this sculpture garden uh next to ravindra kala kshetra on jc road and uh, so we are we are doing this program and you know the it's very democratic and we know uh, same artists very very little they come and i mean they are repeated most of the uh, groups are all newcomers and uh, you know some of them now now they want to have programs like this in dharwar hubli and belgaum and other places some of the artists are trying to organize things like this in other places in karnataka which very interesting yeah. yeah but you also made a great contribution to ngma because uh, ngma is now at one time nobody even heard about it or, or i mean no, there was hardly anyone visiting now you go to any of their programs and you don't find a chair to sit i remember the your big uh, the wonderful program by subramaniam when he sang sanjay subramaniam on your birthday i mean it took the whole uh, whole st- Whole auditorium, you know, was so quiet, pin drop silent, and I think nobody would forget that event. But after that, I found a lot of activities, and particularly when, uh, at least as far as I know, when Shobha Nambisan was the director, she did a wonderful program with the retrospective show of Hebar. For two months, it ran, and every weekend there was lectures, there was uh, yaksha gana programs, there was uh, um, uh, you know shadow play, uh, puppetry. there were seminars there was demonstrations there were lecture tours you know so these kind of things which were not there in uh, bangalore and i'm feeling that, you know it, it needs people to guide a uh, institution like that ki what program should be done how it should be done and it is nice that you are a part of all these kind of art activities well i mean um, uh, i'm 
one of the persons responsible to get ngma to bangalore uh, with some of my very good artist friends we worked together for that and fortunately we got a very good place and a beautiful building and um, so there is a, it's going on quite well and uh, uh, a lot of activities uh, one not one one thing i feel is that um, a cultural organizations like uh, national gallery of modern art or the lithical academy and uh, you know um, things like that um, they should be started by the government but they should give it a trust to run the place because you know otherwise what happens is it becomes a part of the government you know and uh, the transfers and you know the new directors come and they may not have any interest in art at all and uh, they're only administrators administrators and... yes we need administrators but then, yes i know I but think, i think i think the trust uh, with with one or two persons from the government can be on the trust and the trustees can be there for 3 years or 5 years and again the trustees you know mm-hmm. and uh, i think then then the money will come in. it's easy for people to donate money to run these places mm-hmm. in fact all over the world all over the world all the museums not the very important museums not galleries are run by trusts and the finance run partly by the government local mm-hmm. government but it is run by the trust because and any anyone can pay the money to the trust you know and then there are there are people who own so many very good paintings and uh, artworks and they could give and donate their works or whatever it is you know all sort of things are possible and uh, unfortunately the thing is that because it's a culture department and the government of india is involved with it and uh, so uh, they they don't want to uh, give it to a private uh, trust and, uh, that's one of the feels one of the things i feel sad about uh, the government should create should create these things but they should not run it not run it running they can put one of their people but they should be run by the artists it should be run by the artists not only artists even people who are interested in art and yes. you know the thing is that not all the artists are good administrators also yes that's so, true so they, they, they can, they can throw their ideas but then uh, there are some people who, who can think of it very seriously and do things no? and uh, fortunate you know, there are there are people very fortunate we had uh, people like uh, uh, this person who this you mentioned now and uh, she is a, she is a ias officer retired ias officer but then she depended completely on the advisory committee of artists for everything for everything Now, every day we would get uh, uh, emails asking us uh, suggestions mm-hmm. i think so that's very important otherwise it's very difficult to, for a for a person uh, just becoming a director and run the whole show but then i think i think uh, it's important that the creation of uh, trust is uh, very important for uh, organizations like this and uh, i for one i had my last year uh, national gallery of modern art uh, invited me to have my retrospective and um, so i took nearly about 10 months to organize my retrospective and uh, i had a very good curator in sudanand menon and a very good designer in viti desai and they designed exhibition so beautifully and nearly 500 works exhibited then i thought that i should have nearly 12 or 14 programs during that month. so music program hindustani carnatic the theater poetry literature and the discussion seminars everything you know i had nearly and people came for everything possible my interest in all these things it's not just my painting and sculpture and these things but my interest in these things also yes, made yes. me bring all those sort of things interact with them you know and and people i wanted people to interact with them. so to know an artist and his mind and the artist mind how it works it's very important for people to know and a similar similar thing i did in chennai at three centers because there, there was no big gallery there like the academy forum gallery and cholamandal gallery and then i had programs like this whatever i had in bangalore and then i had in bombay at national gallery of modern art they had a fantastic uh, auditorium where sanjay subramanian came there and sang and venkatesh kumar came there and sang and there there was a panel discussion on artistic connections and you know 
film samskara which was, i was the art director of the film it was it was also shown and so there is so you know it's very important for them to do things <laughs>